We have been seeing some pretty crazy price drops happening right now in Pet Simulator 99. And today we are going to go over the reasons for that and what might be happening. And basically overall just what you guys should be doing in this market. Especially leading up to update 8 that is coming out on Saturday. So there is a lot to talk about and we also have uh, another few leaks that we should go over. That could play into some of the prices within the market. So we will go over those as well. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and like the video. It helps me out a lot and basically helps me to understand what kind of content you guys are looking for surrounding the market in Pet Simulator 99. And we also have a Discord where you can enter daily giveaways and get all sorts of help on there as well. So link for that will be in the description. Let's get right into it though because we actually do have a decent amount to cover today and I want you guys to be ready for whatever might be happening in the market. All right, so first of all, we are obviously going to start talking about the happy rocks and the happy computers because that is pretty much what we base our deflation and inflation periods on nowadays in Pet Simulator 99 because of so much of the economy has to do with these two pets. So watching the prices of these is pretty much a reflection on the general pet market as well as the exclusive eggs and stuff like that. So let's pull up the chart here. So the current price of the huge happy computers is 43.5 million. So we have seen quite a decline in the past few wrap updates uh, where we saw peaks of the price being at 45.5 million pretty much. Uh, so we've seen pretty much a 2 million diamond wrap decrease in uh, just a few wrap updates, which is pretty dramatic. But just to point out, we did see the price of the huge happy computer go all the way from 37 million to 45 million in the span of basically two days. So I think it's honestly probably due that we do see a little bit of a dip in the prices. So it's a not, not too crazy because 7 million price difference in just two days is just crazy. Crazy. But if you do notice a pattern in the chart of these prices, obviously as prices go down, they eventually bounce back. And it does seem like for all of the deflation periods that we have been getting in recent times, it has been lasting shorter and shorter. So things have been rebounding pretty darn quick in the game. Uh, the only exception to this is basically uh, this little period we had. But this was due to the wrap system not working for about two days. So uh, this is a bit of an exception. But if you see here, look how fast the wrap value bounced back for these prices. So I can expect something similar to happen here. Because obviously we did not get any new news or anything that's happening in the economy that would cause a deflation period for stuff like this. So it seems like this is just another one of those panic selling periods that we do see every once in a while. And if we pull up the prices of the Happy Rock, it's pretty much just the exact same. The prices of these two things pretty much follow each other. Another thing that we do talk about quite a bit recently on the channel are these boss chest mimics. So a lot of people have been suggesting for you guys to be investing in these. And I did warn you in the last video that it is possible that people have been purchasing the heck out of these things with Robux and stuff like that. So there could be a whole ton of these in existence. So that's my one warning to you guys if you are investing in these. This enchant is very good, however, but the fact that people have the ability to purchase these for so long in the exclusive shop makes it so that the population or how much quantity of these are in the market Basically, it's just going to keep going up until the update when it's finally removed. So if there are an abundance of these in the market, it does limit how high of a price this will reach. Now, on the other hand, something like the chest mimic is still increasing in price because this thing is only getting more and more rare. As you can see, just basically a month ago or even probably three weeks ago at this point, the chest mimic was only at 300 million and we've seen a steady increase that's pretty much defied most of the deflation periods. Uh, when this thing dips, it doesn't dip for long. And the reason for this is because a lot of people are hoarding these things and the supply of them on the market is super low. It's also just the best enchant in the game. So everybody wants it and pretty much nobody is going to be selling it because they all use it for their setups. 
But as you guys can see here, we are reaching almost a billion for the chest mimic in not too long of a time. Like this thing increases so much. It's just honestly insane. But because it's only going to get more rare and there's no way to get a new one of these in the game, like you can't buy it with Robux or anything, that's why the price of this is only going to keep going up from here as it gets more and more rare. Now, another thing we should talk about are Charm Stones. So as you guys can see, the price of Charm Stones is, has been rising slightly for a while now. But in the past week, since we did get the announcement from one of the developers that they did say there's going to be some use for your extra charms that you're not using, uh, the price of it has been going up quite a bit. It's honestly been going up pretty steadily the past few days. So something to look out for. A lot of people are speculating that there's going to be some sort of charm stone machine where you can like upgrade charms or like craft the upper tier charms with the other lower tier charms. But nobody really knows at this point. This is all just speculation based off of uh, one tweet from the devs. So that's just something I want to let you guys in on. The prices of these increasing are very good for people that grind items because a lot of the income from selling items comes from these charm stones. So this also should increase the value of the large gift bags because they do drop a decent amount of these. So just something to keep in mind. Nothing too crazy, but wanted to point it out to you guys. Now, another really cool thing about this site is it has a lot of stats like basically all the things that have increased in rat value a ton. So obviously this is going to be all of the stuff that are being manipulated pretty much. So so if you do see something in here, it's most likely that the rat value of it has been manipulated. But what I wanted to show you is down here, the biggest huge exist increase, which is pretty cool because this is going to basically show you what is being opened in the game. So like what kind of huges. So 700 huge wizard westies, meaning that a lot of people are opening up the crystal chest and getting the huge wizard westies. So that is a lot of them. So I'd imagine a ton of people are opening them. And then we also see the active huges being opened. So in the past 24 hours, we've seen 1400 huge giraffes, which I'm pretty sure before the buff to the huge hunter pass, uh, 200 to 400, I'd say. Uh, new active huges every day that were being added to the game so we have seen a pretty dramatic increase i'd imagine the prices of these things are going down because of this so we haven't really seen too much of a price decrease i'd imagine the reason we haven't seen too much of a price decrease is just because of the natural inflation that has been increasing the prices of huges so the fact that we're getting more in existence while prices are rising kind of just makes it pretty much just steady at this point. It has not changed much in the past few weeks. Now, if we go to the huge mermaid cat here, we can see the price is declining ever so slightly. And then we can go check out the robber pug. 1300 opened in the past 24 hours. So the price of this thing is going down slightly, but I, I don't know. Just something I wanted to show off because it is pretty cool to see the increased existence of all of these items and stuff like that. Now, something I definitely forgot to mention that I did suggest a couple days ago that you guys should be buying up some huge potions in uh, anticipation of the huge party that was coming on Friday. So I hope some of you did that because they saw crazy returns. The price of this thing basically jumped like almost double overnight. Uh, but this was mainly due to the fact that Preston ended up buffing that huge hunter game pass. I forgot to mention it in the last video, but this is pretty insane. I didn't really suggest for you guys to buy that because I knew that buff was coming. But if you did listen, you would have got pretty lucky if you bought a ton of these things. I'd imagine that overall, because of the buff to the Huge Hunter Game Pass, this thing is probably just going to stay around this price range. You can see in the past day, it's pretty much just been steady and the price has been pretty much the same. What this means for the game is that it is going to be a little more worth it for people to be fishing to get the magic shards and as well as the magic buckets from the dig site and stuff like that now leading up to the update thursday it would be a good idea to pick up some of these i just want to let you guys know ahead of time 
uh, in case I forget to mention it that day. But if you are into doing smaller flips in the game, buying these things the day before the huge events and selling them the day of is always a good way to make some gems. And so many people are going to be looking for these on the huge party day. And a lot of times people will overpay a ton for these. I saw people buying these things for like 500,000. I even saw someone buying it for a million uh, on the huge party day that we had on Friday this week. So definitely something to consider. Just a little heads up for you guys. Now, real quick, I think I forgot to mention that I do think we are going to see the wrap value go down once again at this next wrap update. Uh, but again, I just don't think this deflation will last very long because, of course, it wasn't caused by anything. I don't think there was any announcements that uh, really affected this. So it's pretty much just people panic selling. And as you guys know, if people are panic selling, they're just going to be panic buying just as fast once prices begin to rise once again. Now, if people are going to be buying back huges with all of those diamonds that they got from selling them in the first place, obviously, this is just going to drive inflation further. So we can probably expect for these prices to go past 45.5 million once again in just a day or two. Now, moving on to the leaks for the update eight coming on Saturday. Now, on the screen here, you're going to see this leak that we got from Big Games, which is basically just a treasure hideout, which honestly looks pretty cool. And it says you're going to need a hideout key to enter. But if you read the words, basically, you're just going to see that it says you can get tons of diamonds and tons of item drops and it lasts about 30 minutes. And it's always going to be better than whatever your best area is. So upon seeing this, you could probably assume that we are going to see some big inflation coming in this next update. Because obviously we're going to be making tons of diamonds. And this is just going to further the amount of diamonds that people can make. Now this tweet did come out about like two or three days ago at this point. I did forget to mention it in my last video. But basically just another pointer to us assuming we are going to be seeing inflation once again this update. Now I have been seeing a rumor going around that we always see deflation when an update comes out. And this is just not the case. I don't know where this rumor came from. Uh, there's been plenty of the last updates that we did not see any sort of deflation. The only thing I can say regarding that rumor is that we do usually see um, a little mini deflation like a day or two before an update comes out. And generally this is because people try to stock up on a ton of diamonds before an update comes out just so they are able to buy and engage in whatever content's released in that new update. But even that, we usually always see the prices bounce back by the time of the update. Again, deflation and inflation usually happens for a reason, and it's not just caused by some like set schedule. Now, I have been seeing a ton of complaints recently about influencers and stuff like that in the game, and then some people even blaming me for how prices move in the game. I just want to let you guys know that what I do in these videos is basically just give you the information that I see from hanging out in the market most of the day. And honestly, I don't even give predictions. I'm pretty much just telling you what is happening to the market. And I usually don't upload my videos until I know for sure the market is moving in one direction. My videos are not the reason the market is moving this way. Most of the time in the videos, I will even point out to you guys that the prices have been changing in the ways that I'm explaining. The only purpose of these videos is to educate you guys about what's happening in the game and let you guys make educated choices for yourselves and tell you basically how I'm investing. Just thought it was something important to know. Now, another leak that we have gotten in the past day is from Big Games themselves once again, and this is the XP machine that we are going to be seeing in Update 8. It honestly looks pretty cool, as you can see on the screen, and they also released uh, like what the potions are going to look like. So, as you can see, we have huge XP bottles, Titanic XP bottles, Mastery XP bottles, as well as Ultimate XP bottles. So, basically what this machine does is going to use items to craft craft these XP potions which can help you with all sorts of things so I guess if you want to level up your pets or help level up your ultimates or level up your masteries so I'm sure this mastery XP uh, bottle is going to be very expensive and a lot of people are going to be looking for it 
because these mastery levels are absolutely crazy and very expensive and i'm sure the more common players are not able to level up their masteries much at all in the picture it says you craft them with items so i'm not sure what kind of items that means i assume it's going to be some use for all of these cheap potions and the cheap enchants that we have so hopefully it has to do something with these and if that is the case i would imagine we would see the prices of the large gift bags and the small gift bags going up a lot because those do drop all of those small little trash items that pretty much nobody uses but we will have to wait and see if those are the types of items that we are going to be able to use to craft these xp potions obviously nobody knows right now just something to point out and my thoughts on that. And lastly on the screen we have the new levels that we're going to be seeing in the update. So it seems like pretty much a week early they are done pretty much with the update. They, they've they given us a lot of leaks of things that are already done. So I would imagine they were able to release it this week. But due to the way they want the clan events to go nowadays they are just waiting to make sure everything is perfect and maybe even add some extra stuff. So hopefully we do get some new leaks in the next few days but it does seem like they have leaked quite a bit so far one thing we haven't seen that they did talk about in the past are actually the clan systems so i hope there are some new things that we can do with our clans uh maybe even like a clan base uh, s some way to spend diamonds and upgrade our clan stuff uh, because personally my clan has a ton of donated diamonds and pretty much nothing we can do with them as we are max rank already so hopefully that dev update for the clan system comes out and adds some cool stuff to the game obviously those levels look pretty good and the quality of the way things look in pet simulator has been pretty great recently so nothing to complain graphic wise but there are some big quality of life changes that we could see in the game still so we can only hope hopefully my yapping didn't put you guys to sleep and you did learn something from this video and if you did make sure you like and subscribe to the channel uh, as well as join the discord in the link below we're doing big giveaways and when we reach 10,000 subscribers on youtube we're going to be doing a huge giveaway on there so look forward to that Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.